This is the triac that limits the power into the Bombarda transformer. So I've taken the circuit off of the old flimsy piece of aluminium that it came installed on. I've mounted it onto this nice piece of aluminium channel. It has a good heat sink and I'm about to put some thermal grease on the triac here and mount it to this aluminium channel and that should be ready to go. I'm using uh, some El Nano thermal grease which I picked up years and years ago. So this actually contains carbon nanotubes. It's a thin film thermal grease paste for um, heat sinking. So we'll open that up now. And put some of that on a little applicator stick. And I've got more than enough just on the lid to uh, get this job done. Well, I'm all set up here, got all my tools, got some foam on the ground, and I'm ready to start some wiring. So I'll get into that and I'll give you some updates as I go along. Now I've got two inputs going into this pumping system. This one here is to run all of the contactors and switchgear, and this one here runs all of the pumps. And what I forgot to do is to put another one in for the bombarder, so that each one will run off of a separate breaker so if anything happens the other ones will stay live so we'll go ahead and pop another hole in the side of the box here and we'll run another feed into it to run the bomb bar flat battery Okay, take two. Done. So I've wired up some fuses some of the neutral and earth terminals here and one of the contactors. Unfortunately we can't get the second contactor working because it's got to run off this timer here and it's got to have an off delay time of half an hour. So this one here is just not working so we're going to take it out completely. That's what all this extra wiring is all about. I've had it all wired up and um, unfortunately one of the normally closed contacts was just not contacting when it was meant to so um, I've got a new one we'll um, have a look at that in a second I've got my timer here that we're going to be using in the unit and that's going to be activating this contactor here and I've got this switch to simulate turning on the vacuum pump system so we'll turn that on and the contactor engages and this sensor wire here Connects over to the neutral, and when we release that, simulating turning off the switch because we'll be putting that on another contact on the main switch to the vacuum system. Uh, when we release it, the timer starts, and then as soon as the timer lapses, which we will preset for half an hour, 
uh, but for the moment it's only going for a few seconds, uh, that should actually unlatch the contactor as you saw there. So we'll do it again, turn the power on and at the same time as doing that the sense wire would automatically connect. But I've only got one set of contacts on that switch there. Um, when we turn the unit off, this sense wire comes off, the unit switched off, but the power is still going to the timer. As soon as that kicks over, after half an hour, the contact comes off. So that will enable the fans to cool the pumps down and the fans in the actual unit itself to extract all the hot air. Okay, so the wiring is pretty much all done. I've got a couple of dummy LED loads to represent the pumps uh, because I didn't have all the pumps at the time. So um, we'll test the unit with the dummy loads. We'll switch the main unit on. You can see the lights go straight on. You can hear the fans going. Uh, we'll test the bombarda, which will be the second lot of LEDs. That's on, and that's off. Now they stay on for a few seconds because of the uh, LED drivers. Um, we'll test the flash button for the bombarda. It seems to work. Again, that would just go on and off straight away, but because of the capacitors in the LED driver, it stays on for a few seconds. So that seems to work fine. Uh, we can't exactly test the um, potentiometer yet because we've got to wire that all up. Now the key thing here is that when we turn the unit off, the light should go off but the fans should keep running. The lights have gone off, the fans are still running and that will run for a few seconds and then it will shut down. And there we go. And we'll change that to run for another half an hour, not just a few seconds, but uh, that seems to be working just fine. So we'll remove the dummy loads now and wire in the pumps and uh, hook up the bombarda and we, we should pretty much be all done. Okay, so Renato's made a bracket to mount the diffusion pump to the frame. So that's all fitted off now and ready to wire up. You can see behind the diffusion pump we've got an Edwards rotary vane vacuum pump. Uh, it's a 5 litre a minute backing pump. There's a better shot of the Edwards backing pump there. The piece that Renato forgot. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's it.